assessed selling market and appraised value slash prices. What do they mean for you, the buyer and seller? That's the topic of my next video. Assessed selling market and appraised values and pricing. That's the topic of this video. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. With all these different prices, it can get very confusing. A recent viewer sent in a question. If I was to purchase or put an offer on a REO, bank-owned property, uh, which is what she was looking at, am I paying the actual assessed value or the price that they're listing for the particular house? Well, I'm going to use that as a way to tee off, per se, uh, into this particular video. Let's get into what these particular values are, and then you'll have a better understanding of which you would be paying if you bought any house, whether it be an REO or a particular traditional um, end user property. An assessed value is the value that the taxpayer makes. He assesses the property to see how much of a tax pull they can get on to fill their tax buckets. So, in Nassau County, for example, they recently reassessed every single property and they said they did it on market value. Well, that market value was about a year, year and a half ago. And now with the pandemic raising all these prices when they're very, very strong sellers market, the houses have gone up significantly in value. Are they reassessing? Most likely not, because reassessment takes a lot of money, which they say they don't have. So your town is very you know specific so as they say real estate is ultra local and in that case when you buy your house there's a chance your county might reassess the property after that sale if it's way above would they reassess it if your property if you bought a house much lower than the assessed value um maybe not but then in i would say you should then grieve your taxes and say, I bought the house for $30,000 less than the appraised value or assessed value, that is, and I'd like to have a reduction in my taxes. But that is house specific and town specific. So we have assessed value is for the tax man. Now we have the market versus selling uh, values or selling prices. The market price is a price that you and your realtor make when you put the house on the market. There's a lot of things that they take into consideration, realtors that is, when they make that market value. One is your time frame. Two is definitely comps and recent comps, very important, as recently as they possibly can get. And then they take all that data and they put it together and they come about with a market price that dictates how people will be making offers on your property. Is a market price the selling price? Could be, but not always, which brings us to the selling price. Selling price is actually the price where the seller and the buyer come together and they made a union on the actual price. That becomes the selling price. Now, could it be the same? Like I said, sometimes it could, but not always. A seller has a different idea of a selling price or a market price for your home than the um, buyer does. So what do I mean by that? Let's say you are looking to buy a house and the house is coming with a pool, but you don't want a pool. So that is a negative for you. So you're going to offer a little less for that house. However, the seller on that property just put that pool in four years ago and got top of the line everything for that particular pool. So in their mind, the seller, that pool raises the value significantly. So this is what I want for that house. So if you do make a, you know, um, a deal then somebody probably went up, down, whatever, but you two, both of you had different opinions of what the market value is on that house. Now, it also has a lot to do with supply and demand. In a seller's market like we're in right now, that seller most likely is not going to budge because there's plenty of buyers making offers on that property, and they'll find somebody that loves that pool. So that is what the difference between market value and sales price or selling uh, value. And now we have a very, very important thing called appraised value. Appraised value is when the bank is involved. If it's an all cash deal, you throw the appraisal out the window. It really doesn't matter. That's why they say cash is king. But if it's not, like 85% of the properties here in Long Island, somebody uses a mortgage to buy their property, the bank has a lot to say. If you're utilizing the mortgage, and let's say the house was $500,000 that you is the selling price, the agreed upon price, 
you go in and you apply for your mortgage and then they send out an appraiser to your neighborhood to the particular property and that house might appraise hopefully for at or about the asking price or the agreed upon price but if it didn't let's say it appraised for 450 the bank is only going to give a loan usually 80 percent loan to value on the 450. now that's something to consider because now the bank's going to say well i'm not giving you all the money that you asked for because you agreed upon 500 but we're appraising that house on 450. So there's got to be somebody's got to make a deal. Either they got to lower the price, you have to put more cash in, or your realtor's got to find some comps that are accurate that maybe the appraiser did not consider when they appraised that particular property. So there are many ways that a, a realtor can work with the appraiser to make it legally, that is, to make the house appraised for the value that was agreed upon. Now, in this real strong seller's market, that could be a problem because values are continually going up and the appraiser might not even know the numbers yet because they haven't been posted on public records for the appraiser to find out what the actual sales have been. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Again, you have selling price, you have market price, you have appraised value, and you have sales price. If you want to get your house, a market value report of your house for free, that is, click the link right down below and I will send you out a free market report, whether you're a buyer or seller on a particular house or a particular neighborhood. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and thanks for watching. Thank you.